Hey everyone out there, this is Jeremy Kenny with Best Choice DJs and today I'm going to show you how I help my clients plan a wedding. See, upon hiring me as their wedding DJ, I email them this file that's basically a template for a wedding plan. And in fact, I give them two different versions. I give them a PDF and a Microsoft Word document. And they are clickable, so you can click to write, and you can click to check mark, and that way people can fill these out. Now, because all of the weddings are custom made, this is just a basic template to help the clients get a feel and understand the flow of weddings and it's just a guide so I used to do all of it over the phone but now I find it works a lot better to go ahead and send them this up front and that way you know what started is let me go ahead and I'm getting ahead of myself but um, what I would do is I would have a basic template in front of me I would go over everything with them over the phone but particularly during this part when they would be telling me the names of the bridesmaids and groomsmen a lot of times I would have to have them spell out the names for me and it just became um, just cumbersome so I decided to go ahead and start sending this to clients and at least have them fill this part out but what I found is most of them fill out most of it or all of it and since this is generally the way weddings go, um, some of them don't even change the format. They don't change the order of events or anything like that. So it, it's the clients have been um, my clients have been very happy with getting this template up front and being able to fill out as little or as much as they want. So again, let me go back up here to the first page. And um, I tell them to make sure to give this to the wedding planner if they have one. And we start off with the song for the introductions into the reception. This is all focused on the reception. It doesn't um, take into account the ceremony. Because the ceremony, I don't line up the people you know that's separate so I really just focus on the reception though if I am booked to play music during the ceremony I also um, I factor that in when I go over all of this over the phone so I'm gonna show you the outline of the document but um, regardless of how much is filled in whether it's all filled in or none of it before the wedding I go over the same process with the clients to make sure that we've got all of our I's dotted and T's crossed. So that way we leave no stone unturned. So I start off with the order in which we're going to do the grand entrance into the reception. And of course we can switch this up, but after this we go to the bride and groom. And then I recommend going straight from that into the first dance. And here's why. Because when everyone makes their entrance into the reception, it's a really big moment. Usually all the guests are standing up. They're cheering, especially because the bride and groom come in last. It's a really exciting moment. I get really hype on the microphone. I'm like, you know, during the wedding party, I'm, I'm pretty upbeat but not full on and then that way when it's time for the bride and groom to be introduced I can even ramp it up even more and that gets everyone even more excited so I like to go straight into the first dance because otherwise if we go into dinner then we go straight from this very excited moment where everyone is standing to me saying okay you may now be seated and you know I'll start announcing tables if it's a buffet or tell them to remain seated if the meals are going to be brought out to them. So it's just a really big um, shift from being excited to sitting down waiting. 
So I recommend at least going into the first dance, but if the clients want to do all three dances together, then they'll go from the first dance straight to the father-daughter dance and then the mother-son dance. And then usually we'll go straight into dinner after that. And I do give the option for a dollar dance as well as a few other options as well that aren't on here such as the anniversary dance also known as the longest merry dance and the shoe game but um, we have the cake cutting and so what I tell the clients is that I have songs to give them a general idea of songs that are popular for this like for example the the dollar dance right here we have the cake cutting and then so we generally play sugar sugar by the archies and pour some sugar on me by Def Leppard. And if they don't want to use those songs, then they can certainly come in here and they can pick out whatever song that they want. And so these are just suggestions. A lot of times people go with them, but oftentimes people pick their own. The same thing goes for the garter. So, and then I have a list of songs that are like choreographed dances that are really popular that get the party going. And yeah, so they can just check the ones that they want. And then if they're having a last dance, they can put it in here. If they have song requests for dinner or dancing, they can put them here. And it continues. They can write a big list of songs. And that's pretty much it. Then once I get this and it's all filled out, then we schedule a time to go over it over the phone. It usually takes about an hour. I prefer to have both the bride and groom so that we can all three be there and discuss everything. And I give them some of the pros and cons, some of the different ways of doing it, some options of doing this instead of that, and a bunch of tips along the way so they know exactly what to expect. Again, I want to emphasize, even though this is a template, it's just a template. It's completely customizable. So when I go over everything over the phone, we can move things around and shift them as need be because it's your wedding. And the only right way to do a wedding is the way that you want it done. I hope this helps you. Thanks so much for watching. Of course, if you need a wedding DJ, visit my website at bestchoicedjs.com, that's djs.com, and I'll be glad to help you in any way I can. Thank you so much.